Hi students, so this is then our final lecture on sprinklers. Um, so this next part is about sprinklers and the installation of, uh, of, of sprinklers. So you start off with um, setting out the works before installation begins and then underground pipeline should be deep enough um, so that's just to make sure that um, you don't damage them with equipment um, so pipelines should be laid according to the specifications that um, your manufacturer lays out um, and then the air and flush valves as well should be installed just like the manufacturer lays out in the initial plan for the irrigation system um, all installations protruding from the ground must be protected from damage by farm traffic so that's just pipes or any gauges or valves that you have um, from the underground pipe that's above ground should be protected to make sure that it's uh, that it won't be damaged by tractors then pressure measuring points uh, must be installed on strategic positions to ease pressure control um, so that's just those pressure measuring um, points or devices that you use to make sure that there's enough pressure in the pipes to um, transport all the water uh, must be at the right points and all pipelines must be flushed after installation so, so that's just to make sure that your pipes are clean on the inside and that there's no dirt on the inside of your pipes um, evaluation after installation so here's just a couple of places that you should check for um, to see that everything is in order so the inlet pressure of the blocks um, so that's the pressure at which the water is going uh, into the blocks um, measure emitter pressure so that's your small little emitters or sprinklers make sure that the pressure uh, that they are exiting the the emitter um, is adequate check system layout equipment model and manufacturer schedule of blocks general installation and system capacity and so these tables are basically the same with just a bit more information on every single part okay so then system management um, so you should operate the system at design pressure and that's just uh, whatever the manufacturer has um, said is the design pressure uh, try to operate within that pressure to make sure that the, um, the system runs at an efficient uh, pressure for instance if you um, uh, maybe irrigate at too high a pressure then what could happen is um, your droplets would be too small and so if your droplets are too small the wind will blow it away so that's just make sure that um, you're operating operating at the correct pressure then um, uh, stop irrigating at wind speeds more than 16 kilometers per hour so if you are irrigating um, and especially when you have a kind of sprinkler that um, sprays water upwards so into the air um, in other words it has a lot of distance to drop and just make sure if the wind is too uh, much that you don't irrigate um, night irrigation more effective than daytime so at the night your evaporation losses are a lot less um, so make sure that you take that into consideration and then test system distribution and precipitation once a year so uh, just to make sure that you are distributing the water evenly throughout the whole field when you are irrigating um, that should be tested and then um, this is just to show uh, three different scenarios so distance from the nozzle at the top distance from the nozzle head based on nozzle size um, so you know if you've got different kinds of nozzle sizes so where the water exits um, that can influence droplet size in other words it could influence how far the drops travel um, based on pressure 
Um, and that's also, you know, if you if you are irrigating at a high pressure, um, normally your droplets, if if size remains constant, would travel further. And then, based on angle, um, your angle at which your sprinkler is also determines that distance. Um, and here's just a, a top view and a side view um, of when you are irrigating your wetting pattern. And just important to note that around the sprinkler, as you can see on the side view, water will infiltrate deeper into the soil and then further away from the sprinkler. Um, and then system maintenance. So if you're doing maintenance on your whole system, wear on nozzles. So your nozzle is usually a circular um, exit and make sure that that exit remains in that circular position because over time your nozzle starts wearing and that causes a different size of droplet to um, come out of your nozzle and that can have a big influence on inefficient um, irrigation so check effect of water on equipment and have a maintenance schedule and this maintenance schedule as you can see uh, just a couple of things that you should check when you are checking your sprinkler system leakages system pressure and flow uh, your valves and hydrants uh, check your sprinklers flush main lines and replace rubbers on qc pipes and that is it for sprinklers